Mark White, our home and security editor, joins us. Uh, Mark, you know, we've seen so much, haven't we? Um, we've been guilty here too of saying, blooming French, the more money we send them, the more migrants we get. But that does illustrate the problem, doesn't it? Yeah, the pull factors are here. And we speak to those that we see in Dunkirk and Calais and elsewhere along the northwest coast of France. And they tell us, we want to get to the UK. We love the UK. We know we'll be looked after the, in, in the UK. And they get that message back through from the people that have gone to the UK and they are well looked after in the UK asylum mm. system. That is a big pull for them. And we've seen with the documents that they've been yeah. discarding there on the beaches as well, on the instruction of the people smugglers to make it more difficult for UK authorities to get a handle on exactly who they are, whether they've been granted or declined asylum elsewhere. And there are forms there, French and Belgium asylum forms that people have clearly filled out. Whether they got accepted or not, we don't know. But they've clearly decided, regardless of that, they want to get to the UK. Yeah, and the numbers keep growing. We're roughly double the number this year we were last year. Nigel, there is some real concern. You mentioned the surge in those who've crossed over mm. uh, the Mediterranean into yeah. southern Europe, and they are making their way north. And many of those we know from past experience will make their, their way to the northwest corner of France. Already around Dunkirk and around Calais and to a lesser extent Boulogne, there are thousands of people in these makeshift camps around there. Now and again, they get cleared out by the French police. But they're, they're not going anywhere. They're just disrupted uh, in that particular area. They move on, they set up another camp. So they will be joined those people that are already there yeah. by thousands more in the weeks ahead. So we can expect a summer surge without a doubt. We need change here, don't we? Well, that is something that has been called for for a long time. But I'm seeing nothing from either of the Conservative Party candidates that say mm. they are going to ad adopt anything that's widely or wildly different from the same policy that Boris Johnson and Priti Patel have pursued. They still want the Rwanda scheme, which is going nowhere fast. In fact, they want to extend that out to other willing countries. And they say they're still wedded to this plan for these larger de detention centres, even though they gave in to oh, the no. massive public yeah. outcry up in Lin Linton on News. That is going to change in the short term, I don't think. Mark White, thank you. But remember, if you want to follow what is really going on, you've got to come to the People's Channel, GB News, because we are going to keep doing this.